New at 6, Broward County schools have been working on a reopening plan for the upcoming school year. Will students be learning from home like they did at the end of this past school year, or will they be back in schools or somewhere in between? Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcy held a news conference today to update what course they might be taking. CBS 4's Ty Russell is in the newsroom with the details. Lauren, Ty. this is something parents are waiting to hear. Today, we are getting a clearer picture on how Broward Public Schools will look when they reopen. District leaders have not signed off on a plan just yet, but they are leaning toward an option that's a mix of lear home learning and in the classroom. We got to be able to guarantee um, our students that they're going to get a, at least 50% of their learning time on campus in a classroom. So that's the goal. That's Broward Superintendent Robert Runcie answering questions today. It happened during a break from a workshop about reopening schools and leaders say it will not look anything like a usual first day of school. We also know that whatever decisions that we make, it's going to be less than ideal. Um, it won't be an ideal situation. During a workshop, district leaders went over several options. One includes what's called staggered learning. That's when half of the student population is at school one day, the other will be at home with e-learning. That means students will be in a classroom two days a week. During the presentation, a school representative discussed what the plan will be for Wednesdays. I, I want to point out the midpoint of the week is you notice Wednesday is left as an opportunity for um, school sanitation and support services um, so that students who need additional access uh, to on campus supports could come that day. School leaders are shying away from 100% e learning, like what happened since spring break. Leaders are looking at another option, though. A quarter of the student population at each school will be on campus once a week. They're also figuring out if students with special needs may need more in classroom interaction. The superintendent says these are plans they've been working on since March, and they're still not done since COVID-19 data is constantly changing, but they will keep working. We, we've got to find a way, uh, we must find a way to reopen schools and maximize the amount of time our kids can spend on our campuses and interact with their teachers, their classmates, counselors, and others. And the district is planning to bring back athletics, cheerleading, and band in mid-July. And keep in mind, today's meeting was just a workshop. We are not expecting a final reopening decisions to be made until August. I am live in the newsroom, Ty Russell, CBS4 News.